This is fourth grade Ready Classroom Mathematics, Lesson 16, Session 4. This set of videos you should complete before, or this set of pages you should complete before you watch this video. You, we are going to be completing together pages 345, 346, 347, and 348, but I'm going to be going over them quickly so that way you can check your answers to see how you did. So, on page 345, a designer puts a tile border around the edge of a rectangular swimming pool. The length of the pool is 52 meters. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my picture here. 52 meters. And the width is 26 meters. How long is the tile border? Well, if you think about a tile border, it's something that would go around the edge. So a border is something that would go around the edge. If we are going around the edge of a shape, that is the perimeter. So to get the answer to that question, I would do 26 times 2 plus 52 times 2. Or you could add those four times, or you could even do 26 plus 52, and then multiply it by 2. Either way, you are going to get the same answer. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way up here. 2 plus 6 is 8. 5 plus 2 is 7. So now we need to do 78 times 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 more is 5. So our answer is... 156 meters is how much they need to create a border around the outside of that swimming pool. Okay, page 346. At the top here, Zachary has new carpet on his bedroom floor. The dimensions of his rectangular room are 9 feet by 13 feet. How much carpet is used to cover the whole floor? Okay, so a carpet is something that's going to cover this. It's going to cover the, the whole floor. It says the dimensions of his rectangular room are 9 feet by 13 feet. How much carpet is used to cover the whole floor? So we need to do 13 times 9 because that's how we find area. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 2 more is 11. So it's going to be 117 square Feet. Number three, Trisha wants to make a rectangular path using pebbles. She has eight bags of pebbles. Each bag covers an area of six square feet. Trisha wants to make the path two feet wide. How long can she make the path? Okay, so if it covers, if each bag covers six square feet, and she has eight bags. We can start off by doing eight times six, which is 48 square feet is how much she has of pebbles. So that's going to go right here in the middle. Now we can do 48 divided by two, which is 24. So her answer is C, that she can make the length 24 feet. Laura chose A as the correct answer. How did she get that answer? Well, she got that answer by doing 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Let's go ahead and turn to page 347. A playground in the park is rectangular and it has a length of 18 yards. The width of the playground is half the length. So what is half of 18? Well, if you know your double addition facts, you would know that that means it's nine yards. What is the area of the playground? So area is length times width. So we're doing 18 times nine. Nine times eight is 72. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 7 more is 16, so it's 162 square yards. 
Number five. Maya is finding the perimeter of the rectangle to the right. Which expressions, notice how it has an S on the end, can be used to find the perimeter. The fact that it has an S on the end tells me that it's going to be asking for more than one. Can you do 2 times 16 plus 2 times 12? Well, that follows with our 2 times L plus 2 times W formula. So yes, that one is correct. 2 times 16 plus 12? No, that one would not work. 16 plus 12 times 2. Well, that would be length plus width times 2, and that is one of our formulas. 16 times 12? No, that would find us the area, and we're looking for the perimeter. 16 plus 12 plus 16 plus 12. Yes, that is the third grade version. This one and that one are the fourth grade versions. Okay, number six. A rectangle is 22 feet long and it has a perimeter of 56 feet. I am not going to put this number in the middle because it's not asking about the middle. It's asking about the perimeter which goes around the outside. If I know that this is 22 feet, then that means this is also going to be 22 feet. So I'm going to take those two and add them together, which means 44, and I'm going to subtract it. So 6 minus 4 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1. So that means I have 12 feet left, but I have to divide that between two different sides. So 12 divided by 2 equals 6. So this and this is 6 feet. So our answer is 6 feet. 348. Miss Leon's plan for a raised garden bed includes the following. It is in the shape of a rectangle. The sides of the bed use a total of 30 feet of cedar boards. So that means that be between the four sides, we are only using 30 feet of cedar board. Each side is longer than one foot. The length and width have measurements in whole feet. Okay, so that means that we are going to take 30 and we're going to divide by four. Well, 4 times 8 is 32, so we cannot divide this evenly, but we can come pretty close. Could we maybe, let's maybe start with um, two sides having 10. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so 10 and 10 is 20, so if I do 30 minus 20, that leaves 10 left over for two different sides. So that means I would divide it by 2, which equals 5. So that means the width would be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I just fill in this last side. This is one way to solve this, to have a 10 by 5. There's several other ways. You could have a um, 5 by 6 or a 6 by 5. You could have a 24 by, or I'm sorry, it wouldn't be 24. It would be 12 by 3. There's several different answers that are possible here. Write the length and width of each garden bed you drew, then find the area of each one. So we have a 10 by 5, so the area would be 50 square feet. We have a 5 by 6, so it would be 30 square feet. Oh, whoops, this one's not correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yep. 
Nope, this one is not correct. This one is, though, 12 by 3. Actually, it's not either. Oh, yes, it is. And so is this one. Oh, nope, this one's not right. This one is correct, though, because 24 plus 6 would be, so 12 times 3 is 36 square feet. Because we're not looking at the square feet, we're looking at the number of boards. So that would be 10 and 12. So that would only be 22. So this one is not correct. But these two are correct. Like I said, there's several different ways that you can um, find what works for this problem. You do not have to do number eight. And that is it for lesson 16. You are ready to take your, do your practice assignments. Have a great day.